All right, if you're watching this, you should be one of my Algebra 1 students, and it should be an e-learning day on Friday, February 12th. I'll probably leave these up just as an extra resource if somebody wants to watch it and get more practice, but it's true intention as, a, as an e-learning day for Friday, February 12th. And we're going to move up to section 7.3. which is called multiplication properties. downstairs upstairs thing hopefully we remember that uh, the two that we're going to need for this lesson are if you multiply like bases you keep the base and add the exponents so um, that would be something like x squared times x to the seventh those are like bases, keep the base and add those two exponents, and you would get x to the ninth. In other words, if you have two factors of x and seven factors of x, you now have nine factors of x. And the other one is the power to a power rule, which says keep the base and multiply the exponents. I sure hope those are in frame. Oh yeah, we're good. So an example of this one would be x to the third, all that to the fifth. So that would just be x to the three times five, which is x to the 15th. Um, this might look like a different rule, but you can use the power to a power rule and make it almost look like the, you know, look like you're using the distributive property. Um, that's kind of cumbersome to say if I don't have an example up here. But if we had something like this, a to the fourth, b to the sixth, and all that to the fifth, well, you would use the power to a power rule here and use it here. It's not the distributive property, but it kind of sort of looks like it. Uh, that would be a to the four times five, and then b to the six times five, a to the 20th, b to the third. It's that rule, but the volume turned up on that rule. So hopefully that's a review of the simple type of problems. Um, let's do y cubed to the eighth times y to the fourth to the third. So we want to take that expression and simplify it. So we'll start out by using our power to a power rule. We'll take, I'm not going to show all that work every time, that's just too much. Uh, that's 3 times 8, so this will simplify to the y to the 24th. And then this is 4 times 3, so that would simplify to y to the 12th. And now we got to use this rule here where we're multiplying like bases. We'll keep the base and add, and that'll simplify to y to the 36th power. Right. If we had something like, uh, we'll do a new one here, um, z to the negative third 
all that to the fifth times z. Well, we gotta use our power to a power rule here. So that's gonna be z to the negative 15th times z, that's technically to the first. We're multiplying like bases, so keep the base and add. That would be z to the negative 14th. Hopefully you remember that you cannot stop if you have a negative exponent. You've got to keep going. And this would be 1 over z to the 14th. So that would be our final simplified expression. do a to the negative fourth, b to the third, all that to the negative second times a, b to the fourth, all that to the third. So we'll start out by using our power to the power rule. Negative 2 times negative 4 will give me a to the 8th. Negative 2 times 3 is going to give me b to the negative 6th. That's a 1. Don't forget to take 3 times 1 and get a to the 3rd. And then 4 times 3 is 12. So that's b to the 12th. And now we're kind of multiplying four things. I'll just add those dots so it kind of separates a little bit. But these would be like bases. So we're going to keep the base and add and we would get a to the 11th. And then these would be like bases. So we're going to keep the base and add. Negative 6 plus 12 will give me positive 6. So my final answer is going to be a to the 11th, b to the 6th. Try another one like that. Um, let's do x cubed y to the ninth, all that to the negative third, times x to the eighth, y to the second, all that squared. So negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. That should be a Y, not an X. Let me fix that. Should be negative 27. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4. So x and x, keep the base and add, negative 9 and 16 is 7. y and y, so we have like bases, keep the base and add. We get negative 23. Can't stop if there's a negative, so hopefully remember from section 7-1, kind of treat this like it's over 1. And if it's positive upstairs, keep it upstairs, it'll stay positive. If it's negative upstairs, send it downstairs, and it'll be positive down there. So our final answer would be x to the 7th, y to the 23rd. Okay. Let me peek at some of the examples in the book and see what I'm forgetting to mention. Okay, looks like I need to do some with numbers, maybe. Uh, that means it's going to fire some of these. No, we're good there. So let's do... Uh, 
c squared d to the fourth e to the third take all that to the fourth times c to the negative eight d to the third e and then all that to the negative second so four times two is eight four times four is 16 four times three is 12 and again i'm just using this rule over and over and over negative two times negative eight is positive 16 Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, and negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. C and C, so add those, we get 24. D and D, add those, we get 10. E and E, add those, we get 10. So C to the 24th, D to the 10th, E to the 10th. All right, let's do uh, m to the negative third, n to the negative second, all that to the fourth, times m to the eighth n, and then all that to the negative second. So four times negative three, that'll give us negative 12. 4 times negative 2, that'll give us negative 8. Negative 2 times 8, that'll give us negative 16. Negative 2 times the ninja 1, that'll give us negative 2. So keep the base and add. Negative 12 plus negative 16, that is negative 28. Negative 8 and negative 2, that is negative 10. Both of these are negative. Remember, treat it like it's over 1. We we'll have to send both of them down. So that will give us m to the 28th, n to the 10th. But don't leave the numerator empty. That will end up being a 1. So that will be our final simplified answer. Let's do a couple more, and I think we can call that good. Uh, let's do five x to the negative third, all that squared, and then two y to the fifth, and we'll square that one too. Kind of make the math easy. So remember, these have exponents of ones technically. So one times two is two. Negative three times two is negative six. Two times or one times two is two. Five times two is ten. So let's go ahead and multiply these out. That'll be twenty-five x to the negative six and 4y to the 10th. Go ahead and multiply these numbers. That will give us 100, x to the negative 6, y to the 10th. This guy is negative, so he has to be sent down. So we'll end up with 100, y to the 10th, over x to the 6th. That should be our final answer for that. Uh, you know what? I think that's enough examples. So um, if you got questions, be sure to email me and I'll try to get on um, Google Classroom and help you out. Have a good day. Hopefully it's not too bad outside. I uh, hope you're just watching this as backup, not on as an e-learning day. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.